Welcome back everyone. This is Jason Santos and we are now on the fourth topic of environmental economics. This is all about abatement. So let's get started. So first, let's try to define what abatement is all about. So abatement is the cost or cost borne by firms when they are required to remove and or reduce undesirable nuisances or negative byproducts created during promotion. As a business shift towards pursuing environmental, social, and governance, or ESG, it means that abatement cost plays a large role in discouraging companies from leniency on their environmental greenhouse gas emissions. Specifically, abatement costs are there as fines for companies that either fall or fail to innovate in creating greener production cycles or fail to account for potential problems and end up damaging the environment. The most common scenario in which abatement costs are applied is for pollution and oil spills, whether accidental or intentional. Abatement costs are the cost associated with removing negative byproducts created during the production. So abatement costs are commonly incurred for things like cleaning up pollution after a spill and are levied by governments seeking to mitigate negative environmental impacts. So understanding abatement, uh, abatement costs can have a very negative impact against companies' earnings and also decrease the positivity of a, neg uh, of a company's public image as consumers are demanding greener practices. Especially for certain industries, abatement costs can significantly impact a company. For example, when an industrial company is required by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency or EPA to clean up pollution accumulated by a company's manufacturing, mining, processing, or waste discharge site, abatement costs will undoubtedly be involved. And then when talking about abatement fees, the term marginal abatement costs also refers to the marginal benefit to achieve an efficient reduction of pollution. Calculating the marginal abatement cost curve, also known as the MAC curve or MACC, is a process that involves mapping out the cost effectiveness of greenhouse gas uh, emissions reductions and for example, weighing a company's toxic waste against initiatives it may fund in reforestation. For example, um, of an abatement cost, a 200-mile portion of the Hudson River in New York is currently classified by the EPA as one of the largest Superfund sites in U.S., okay, the country of U.S. Now, during a 30-year period ending in 1977 when the EPA banned the production of polychlorinated biphenyls or PCBs, it is estimated that approximately 1.3 million pounds of PCBs were discharged into the Hudson River from two general electric, electric capacitor manufacturing plants located in the towns of Fort Edward and Hudson Falls, New York. Under a 2006 consent decree with the EPA, GE was held responsible for the entire 197-mile Superfund site, but specifically required to clean up 40 miles of the upper river. So remediation, dredging started in 2009 and ended in 2015 with the company claiming it invested $1.7 billion on the cleanup. Okay. Um, in December 2016, GE requested a certificate of completion uh, from EPA and then the EPA sent a letter to GE in January 2018 noting its decision of completion would be delayed until its five-year review of the cleanup. Hopefully, by the year end, uh, it will be finalized. And then depending on the EPA's review, GA may be required to perform additional dredging 
that could significantly boost its total pollution abatement costs associated with the Hudson River New York cleanup. So these are the images showing the GE site and river cleanup. Uh, this is what we refer to as abatement based from the definition um, earlier. So the government is uh, penalizing uh, com the, uh, certain companies no? in a way. And um, one way of doing that is by requiring the company itself to clean up the messes they have made. So if uh, GE is a well-known brand, but uh, they are not excluded from these penalties despite the positive effects they have contributed to the economy. They are still required to clean up any waste products or um, ill effects they have caused within the environment they are operating in. Another example of an abatement measure is uh, the smokestacks. Okay? Smokestacks are large chimney-like pipes that allow smoke and gases to escape buildings. The first use of the term smokestack appeared in 1836 during the early Industrial Revolution. While smokestacks may be written as two words, smokestack, the compound word smokestack is preferred spelling. And then the term chimney stack can also be used, refers to the part of the chimney above the roof. And then it is um, generally used by people when referring to the flu on homes and smokestacks when referring to commercial factory or power plant chimneys. So basically, these smokestacks are required by some countries and governments for businesses that uh, emit so much gases. Okay, So in order for you to be able to operate legally, you need to install smokestacks. Okay? And what that means is that you have to clean first the smoke from your machineries before you emit that outside okay so all of the emissions here uh you can see that white smoke uh the pollution on that white smoke is already removed from the process that is uh, being conducted inside the smokestacks okay so for your assignment i would like for you to research on examples of abatement penalties and instances that have, ha uh, have happened in the Philippine setting. So that's it. Thank you so much. And I hope you have understood a few things in this discussion.